It has been a three-year battle to get it done, but the owners of Campland on the Bay have finally gotten permission to tear down an eyesore and build some new affordable campsites. The eyesore, well, that's an old trailer park that's been abandoned for years. It's right on prime waterfront property. KFSI's Dan Plant joins us now from Deonza Cove with the big development. Hey, Dan. Yes, hello. Uh, this is a big development. This is the Coastal Commission approval, which is so hard to get Coastal Commission approval for pretty much anything. But they went along with it on the vote yesterday. It was a vote of seven to three, seven in favor, three against. And those three votes presumably wanted this to be green space out here as opposed to campgrounds. A lot of the environmentalists were saying, you know, we need to sort of, you know, rewild this area. I think that's what they call it, rewild. There's a group where they use the uh, seagrass and then they'll put green space over here. But take a look at this. This is just nasty. It's been abandoned. You know, basically everybody was supposed to be out in 2005. That's when the lease expired for these folks. But then there were lawsuits and a lot of the folks were able to stick around a little bit longer. But finally, everybody left. They were paid to leave. They were actually given money so they could go find a new place to go. And it's just been sitting here as literally um, a danger zone. I mean, homeless people have been living in here. It's been fenced off for years. Uh, and now it looks like the future is bright. Got a chance to catch up with Jacob Gelfand. He is the owner of Camp Land on the Bay, and he and his family are the ones that have been working so hard to get this done. Take a look. There was a time not long ago when this rundown, abandoned trailer park was the most affordable waterfront living in San Diego, a place they called De Anza Cove. Well, as you can clearly see, those days are over, and what's left behind is not only an eyesore, but it's an environmental hazard. After three years of trying, however, the next door neighbors at Camp Land on the Bay finally got approval to clean it up and take it over. I mean, this project was really a, a no-brainer and and this approval has been a real triumph for the community uh, and for the environment because uh, although we've done a lot to contain the um the hazards within the homes uh they they do pose significant risks to the environment and surrounding community Right now, Camp Land on the Bay has become so popular, you need to plan ahead to get a spot. It's one of those rare places where the kids can run free and the parents don't have to worry about it. In a couple of years, more than 100 new campsites will be replacing this embarrassment on Mission Bay. The new campsites that we're going to install are really what makes this whole project possible. How many spaces are you talking about, like 120? It's going to be 147. It certainly was not easy getting to this place. They not only had to secure Coastal Commission approval, which is very difficult, but Camp Land is now putting up millions of dollars in their own money to clean it up, money that will be paid back through rent credits from the city. I mean, we've just been persistent. You know, we haven't given up. You know, we've, we've faced delays as a result of the pandemic and other obstacles along the way, but we're, we're just really determined to do the right thing here for the community and the environment and get this incredible property cleaned up. At a time when inflation is through the roof and the cost of living keeps going up, even affordable vacations are out of reach for a lot of families. Knowing that, Camp Land will be providing free camping and free activities for families who qualify. We're now rolling out, we've, we've recently rolled out uh, a Coastal Commission approved free camping program uh, that uh, is designed for underserved youth and families uh, to be able to access these incredible opportunities to camp overnight overlooking Mission Bay. We're really excited about that opportunity as well. All righty, back out here live, and this is an area that they call the Mission Bay RV Park, and this is actually run by Camp Land by the Bay as well. And as you pan to the right, we'll sort of give you a perspective because this whole area is going to be connected by campsites. These trailers, obviously, will be torn down. That whole area will turn into campsites. And then on the other side of these trailers is where Camp Land can be found. So it's going to be one continuous party, camping party for, you know, once they get it going, it's going to be fun. If you've ever been over to Camp Land by the Bay, on the Bay, actually, uh, it is a fun, fun place for families. As I say, you know, it's it's one of those rare places where you can actually, you know, the parents can kind of do their thing, whatever it is they do, 
and then the kids can just kind of run around because it's almost private, right? So they have gates at the front and the kids can ride their bikes, ride the golf carts, ride their scooters, all kinds of stuff over there. So it really is really some of the last affordable waterfront you know, vacations that you can find in San Diego. So it'll be about two years. Uh, they have a two year window to do this. As you heard, there's delays from the coronavirus, uh, but this thing is gonna get going. Once they get the final stamp of approval, the shovels will be out here. And of course, we'll be out here with the shovels when they start that. But this has been a long time in coming, believe me. And there's been a lot of different plans for this area. Now they've sealed this one, at least temporarily for the next five years. It's gonna be a camping area out here on Mission Bay. Isn't that lovely? Throw it back to you. It is such a nice area. It's hard to like wrap your mind around that it took three years. You know, I understand the pandemic, et cetera, but three years just to get to this point. Yeah, you know, nothing is easy in the Coastal Commission. They actually had a hearing scheduled for a couple of years ago and then this Corona thing and then the hearings were canceled, this, that and the other thing. Uh, so they finally got to the, you know, on the agenda yesterday after three years of trying and uh, they finally got it done, pulled the trigger, the Coastal Commission. Uh, you know, saying, go ahead, uh, charge forward, young troopers, and do your best. So that's what's going to happen out here. They're going to do their best, and uh, it's going to be open again. It will be open again to the public, which is what this property belongs to, the public. All right. Thank you, Dan. We appreciate it.